Good morning. I'm glad that you're joining me again today for Children's Church. Today's lesson is kind of a continuation of last week. We, last week we talked about how to pray. And we used the four letters in pray as just kind of an outline. Pray being to the P for praise, which... Um, when we recall all the things that God has done and we and we celebrate how amazing he is and we thank him for all the things he's already done in our lives when we do that then it helps the other three parts in that we remember how amazing he is and that he is always with us and that he loves us more than anything after praise we have the R and that is for repent that gives us a chance to just talk to God about the things we've messed up on, where we've let it, where we feel like we've let Him down, we've let others down, or we've not done what God has asked us to do. When we do that, um, it gives us a chance to ask God to forgive us, and then He forgives us. It's just gone. Uh, and we can give that up. We don't have to carry that around with us anymore. We don't have to carry those sins. And then we get out and we try to do better the next time. We try to not make the same mistakes. Then the A is for ask, which is when we ask. That's usually the easiest one because we all have lots of things that we need from God, whether it be a specific healing or a specific need in our life. There are lots of things that we want to ask Him for. The last one is the Y for yield. And that means that's when we ask God, to uh, show us what he wants us to do that we yield our life we give him our life so that um, we can do what he wants to do through us so that's the pray and now remember i told you last week that whenever you pray god wants you to talk to him all the time you don't have to pray all four of those there are going to be times when you're really celebrating you've had a great day and you really want to celebrate with god or there are times when you have lots of wants or needs. You've got something that's really pressing on your heart. And you want to talk to him for a long time about that. You don't have to go through the P-R-A-Y every time you pray. It's just a guideline. Just remember that prayer is talking to God. Having conversation with him. He wants to hear from you. Even though he already knows it. He wants to hear from you. Now today's lesson is on the effects of prayer um you're going to hear a story of an amazing jailbreak uh, when uh, people come together and pray and what can happen and in the story you're gonna hear and be reminded that god always hears our prayers now he may not answer them them the way that we want them to be answered because he knows best. He knows where we're headed. He knows how to prepare us for the future. He knows what's going to happen in our life. He knows the end of the story. So we only see what's right in front of us. So God doesn't always answer our prayers the way we want them answered. But God always hears our prayers. So I hope you enjoy today's story. I love you very, very much. And remember that um, God loves you more than I do. Let's pray. God, thank you so much for this day. And thank you for each of these kids, Lord. Thank you that you want to hear from us. You are such an amazing God. Um, the creator of the entire universe. And you want to hear my thoughts. You want to hear what I need. You want me to talk with you. That is such an amazing thing, Lord. Also, God, I ask that you help me to do better. I've messed up in so many ways, but help me do better. Watch over each of these kids. Keep them safe. Grow them towards you. Place people in their lives that will bring them closer to you. Lord, finally, we yield our life to you. We give you our lives. We want to be what you created us to be. So please send your Holy Spirit Awaken your Holy Spirit inside of us so that we can go and do what you call us to do. Thank you for everything. In your most precious name we pray. Amen. See you later. Bye.